Hello everybody, today I will try to stop some terrorists. Disclaimer, this game does not promote terrorism and does not promote the violation of human rights. So basically, my job is pretty simple. Prevent terrorist attacks. Upcoming important event. The football league finale is coming. About 50,000 people will be gathered at the national stadium in Paris. Immediately, we intercepted a suspicious phone call. Yeah, where's the money transfer? Sorry, it's gonna be sent today. I have to pay my people. Okay, it'll be sent today. You asked me to create a network in my city. I did this, but these guys are not true believers. Not yet. I need money to pay them for what they do. I know, the money will be sent. Just don't let me repeat again. What about other things? I need a quick update with five new candidates. They want to join our official discussion club. I think in a matter of a few months, I'll introduce them to our inner circle. Are there any candidates for Mardis? Yes. One of my group. Actually, it's a woman. We shall be a man. She's devoted, fully converted, strong and attractive. I think she's my secret weapon. Remember, no personal involvement. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to sacrifice her when the time comes. Don't worry. Let's just talk again next week, okay? Bye. The objective is to identify terrorist members based on their roles and successfully stop attacks. So I'll just mark these people as suspicious. Now one thing I can do is I can send people to wiretap these guys. We're unable to wiretap the suspect. Seriously? 90% chance of success and you failed? Wiretap action succeeded. Oh finally. Apparently, there's also this other guy who is making his speech on social media. I am going to mark him as suspicious. So currently, I am monitoring these three guys. I have them all wiretapped despite failing a number of times. Maybe the agency should just hire more competent agents. As I progress through the game, I can upgrade the abilities of my agency, such as getting special units and drones. For now, hacking seems like a pretty good idea. So anyway, there's this guy behaving aggressively at a commercial gun event. Definitely suspicious. A little longer than a few minutes later. I've identified many more suspects. I also classified Muhammad Anderson as the operations manager and Anissa as a soldier. Now based on this conversation, I know she is going to carry out an attack soon. But I just don't know the details of the attack. So I decided to arrest her, as well as the operations manager. Mission success. Oh, I was wrong. He was the finance manager. I do have limited resources in each country, so it means I can't spam police units or stuff like that. However, I can use the power of lobbying to get more government resources. Anyway, this other guy seems like a manager. I'll arrest him as well. Suspect in custody. So I mistook the finance manager as the operations manager for the previous guy. And this guy is actually the operations manager. So anyway, after each arrest, the suspect's associates will go into hiding, which makes arresting them even harder. There's also this dilemma, I can choose not to arrest the suspects because I want to find out who's the leader, but at the same time, you know an attack will happen if you don't arrest them. Oops, I messed up. Also, kindly ignore the interrogation I'm doing, we're just talking to them nicely, you know. Sometimes, what's frustrating is that you know they are likely terrorists, but there is a lack of evidence. No no, street art is important. Okay great, we just wasted a ton of government resources on a bunch of street artists. Then sometimes you have those situations where you want to arrest this person, but lack resources in that country, like in Ireland, and there's nothing I can do about that. But hey, at least I successfully prevented a number of attacks. Although I did make some wrong analysis along the way.
One eternity later. I finally located the terrorist leader and sent in special units to deal with him. Suspect down! I repeat, suspect down! I would like to emphasize that I don't support the violation of human rights, but counter-terrorism and intelligence gathering operations are unethical in nature. And because terrorist groups don't play by the rules of conventional warfare, it is extremely difficult for governments to use conventional means to deal with such threats.